I used to be a kindergarten teacher. Sure. Yeah, I used to be. I don't purpose, man. I don't purpose. I graduated university with a degree in community studies. That's exactly right, man. I have no fucking idea what that means either. It's my degree. Ultimately, it meant I'd be given the opportunity to study the community through a variety of shitty jobs. I was a roughneck on an oil rig. I was a security guard of an abandoned building. This was after I graduated, by the way. <laughs> My last job before becoming a kindergarten teacher, I was an assistant janitor. An assistant to the fucking janitor! I had to do shit the janitor refused to do. You know how fucking horrible that is? Hey, Brian, go clean the shit off the walls. What? Who's shitting on walls? Someone, because I cleaned it. Someone wiped their arse on the wall like a goddamn baboon. I had to get into a Q-tips, get, get, get to it. I was like, this is not the dream, man. This is not what I envisioned for myself as a young boy growing up in Canada. I'm supposed to be a Jedi, goddammit. This is bullshit. So I'm like, screw man, screw this. I'll, I'll, I gotta get out of here, man. I'm a sister janitor, I'm not doing this. So I applied to teach English as a second language over here in Asia. Right? We got a lot of teachers here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How many people have uh, education degrees? Yeah. A little difference in the woods there, right? Uh, <laughs> can you study scratch it to Because I was like, I don't care, I'll do it. I don't know how to teach, but I don't want to be an assistant janitor. But that's all you need, right? You just you need a degree and the ability to walk upright and speak English in complete sentences. You're a hiring expert. And I was like, alright. So I applied for a job, and I got a job in Yangyang, South Korea. And that's how you pronounce it, fast and aggressive, Yangyang. I know it doesn't sound right coming out of my round, white face. Yangyang. I said, fuck, man, I'll go to Yangyang, I don't care. <laughs> and they gave me a job in Yangyang, South Korea, man. I had no idea what Yangyang was going to be like. I thought I'd get there to be panda bears in the trees, fucking dragons going down the streets. Right, people come to fighting. Then I googled racism. <laughs> so I took the flight right from my hometown of Canada, right, to Yangyang International Airport. It's like 900 hours, some shit like that. It was a long time. I get there, I was a little disappointed, right? No dragons, no, 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 uh, no panda bears. But my boss was there at the airport to meet me, and the man's name was Thank You. <laughs> That was the man's name. I never met a thank you before. I was like, all right, I worked for this guy for three years, so I had to say thank you, thank you hundreds of times. You know, it's funny. That's not easy to do when you're an immature asshole like me. <laughs> so I was like, all right, man, thank you. And I was a walking stereotype from Canada, man. I had everything I owned in a hockey bag. I take the hockey bag, I put it in the trunk of Sankey's car. All right, yes, thank you, for three years. We go down the road, three minutes later, get into a car accident. I'm like, are you kidding me, man? 900 hour flight, car accident in a foreign country. Thank you, barely speaks English. I don't know where I am, right? And I'm thinking, just get me to my new apartment. I need a nap. I had to slept in a couple days. I don't know if you guys have been to South Korea. There's no naps. <laughs> These are the hardest working people I've ever met in my life. I need to fly them all in here. They'll fix Bangkok by next weekend. <laughs> I have no idea, right? I don't know what to do. This guy calls a cab, brings me to the school where he wants me to teach a full day of class. And I'm like, buddy, man, what? But hey, I was an assistant janitor a week ago. Let's do this. Right? I walked up three floors of concrete stairs, right, with a hockey bag on my back, and I just walked into a classroom and threw the hockey bag on the floor and was like, hi, everybody. And they're like, yay, Brian, teacher! I was like, what? They call you by your first name, followed by the word teacher. I'm like, yeah, Brian teacher. Better than Brian assistant janitor. This is awesome. I start walking around a little more confidently. I'm like, open up your goddamn books, kids. Go to learn some English. But here's the thing they didn't tell me about, and they should have. There's a game in South Korea called Dongchin. Hey! You know about it? You're a little too excited to know about this. You guys are going to know why in a minute. Don't you? Have you talked to South Korea? Yeah, it's exactly that. It translates into English as poop needle. All right, kids take their hands, they put them together in the shape of a finger gun, they sneak up behind you, and they jam you in your asshole. Yeah, buddy, I'm confused too. That's sexual assault, everybody. I think we can all agree. In Korea, game for kids. Nobody 
you told Brian about this? In an email, perhaps? Right? The interview process. Hey, Brian, you might be thinking a lot. Good to know. Good to know. So I have no idea, right? 900 hour flight, car accident. I'm in class, my first, my third class, first day, helping this little boy put together his science project. You know how fucked up that is? A community studies graduate helping an Asian with science. The world's almost over, everybody. So I'm just trying to help this little boy put together his science project, right? It's kindergarten, little desk. I didn't know this was perfect proof needle position. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I be worried about getting fingered in my asshole? I'm a teacher almost. Just trying to help the little fellow, right? Then all of a sudden, just, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, if I wasn't wearing pants, he would have been two knuckles deep in my asshole. He was the dumb chin champion of Yang Yang. Yeah, that's a thing. The class goes crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, this is fucked. This is, I don't care where you are, you can't just finger people in their assholes. I was like, come on, little buddy, we gotta go. Let's go, Chad. We gotta go talk to the boss. That was his name, Chad. Obviously, that wasn't his name, right? That was the language slave name his teacher before me gave him. I was like, come on, Chad, let's go. We talked to Sank you, right? Sank you here, he speaks English. He's still shaky over the car accident. I don't know what the fuck's going on at this point, right? 900 hour flight, car accident, finger my asshole, right? First day in a new country, first new job. So I just tried to keep it simple, man. I was just like, uh... He fingered me, right? I just looked at Sanko and said, he fingered me. And Sanko goes, oh, it's okay, it's just game. Do you know game? Don't shoot his game. That's how a man talked. Like Korean Cookie Monster, buddy. It was fucking crazy. Every time he talked, I was like, this is amazing. It's just game, bro. Do you know game? Yeah, buddy, I know game. Hopscotch is a game. That's age appropriate for kindergarten. Rock, scissor, paper. Great game. Kids love that. Finger my asshole is not a game. No, thank you. I don't want to play. It's a shitty game. Thanks a lot. Back up. You're going to love your headline.